Nexobrid, the innovative enzymatic debridement. A pioneering new treatment is harnessing the power of papaya and pineapple to avoid skin grafts and burns victims. The specialist unit in Livingston is the first in Scotland to use the treatment, which reduces the need for surgery involving general anaesthetic. The application helps to preserve healthy tissue and has so far encouraged swift recovery times. Well, Kay Nicholson's been speaking to one of the first patients to benefit. Leanne Jones took these pictures on what should have been a fun day out in July. She and her family had just enjoyed a breakfast barbecue at the beach before the day took an unexpected turn. The little disposable barbecue was still really hot, so as things were starting to get a bit busier, I decided to, to move it and then I got distracted and I accidentally stood in some sand where um, the barbecue had been sat. And that caused a severe burn to the top of her left foot. Just a few days later, Leanne was given a new treatment from her hospital bed. A paste of papaya and pineapple enzymes was applied to dissolve the burnt skin while protecting any healthy tissue. The first thing that springs to mind is this, but the enzymes aren't actually taken from the pineapple fruit, they're taken from the tree. This burns unit in Livingston is currently the only hospital in Scotland using this pioneering treatment, but there have been various benefits so far. The standard for treatment for that is to cut away the dead surface skin and usually put a skin graft on it. The trouble with feet and hands is that there isn't very much spare tissue there. Now, it won't always um, prevent the need for a, a skin graft, because if, if the burn is deep enough, you may still need to skin graft it afterwards. But certainly, in a lot of burns, certainly the, the more minor ones, you're avoiding a, a general anaesthetic, which can only be a good thing. These pictures show the clear progress made since the four-hour treatment. Leanne healed so quickly, she was back working as a beauty therapist just three weeks later. She's also back driving again. As an alternative to the skin graft, it was, it was significant for me. Um, I dread to think how long it would have taken me to get back on my feet and get back to normal family life, which was, which was most important to me. So for me, it was like, I have to say it was life changing. Nexobrid is only licensed for burns at the moment, but this groundbreaking new treatment is being considered for other uses in the future. Kay Nicholson, STV News, Livingston. Hi, my name's Hilal Bahir. And my name's Dan Widdison. Together, we're the Burns Consultants at the Wallace Burns Unit at St John's Hospital. Our unit covers a large geographical area, including Edinburgh and the Lothians, right down to the Scottish borders in the south and all the way up to Inverness in the north. The unit at St John's has been around since 1991, when this hospital was built. But it has its roots in the Bangawa unit down the road, which was established during the Second World War and was used to treat some of the wounded soldiers. There have been a few changes in burn management over the last 20 years or so, with surgery still dominating as the main treatment option for full thickness burns. And while enzymatic treatment of burns has been used historically, it wasn't until relatively recently that it re-emerged as a serious contender in burns management. We first began to trial the use of uh, Nexabrid about five years ago in our hospital and it took us several attempts in order to retrain ourselves to recognise the appearance of a successfully debrided burn wound following Nexabrid application, particularly in the mixed depth and deep dermal burns where the retention of healthy white dermis can look like incompletely debrided burned eschar. Having taken a few years to establish the product on our hospital formulary, we now use it quite regularly for our patients. Most of our burns are under 10% and a great many uh, are to the hands and feet and it's these that uh, really seem to benefit from Nexabrid debridement. Where surgical excision in the hands and feet can result in over or under debridement with potential exposure of structures like tendons, enzymatic debridement removes only the burnt tissue, leaving the healthy tissues like dermis behind, which in most cases results in wounds that can be conservatively managed with dressings or occasionally skin grafting. Another area where we've found Nexabrid to be particularly useful is in the elderly patients with comorbidities which may make general anaesthetic risky. 
The treatment can be carried out at the bedside and our pain nurses set up pain controlled analgesia which is used during the four hour treatment. The most painful times tend to be during the first hour and then at the end when the product is removed. However, our pain protocol has made this treatment a lot better tolerated by our patients. Now the next few slides are of a patient who presented to our unit about a year ago having sustained a burn to her foot. She had been at the beach cooking uh, on a disposable barbecue when she uh, had um, uh, burnt her foot. The barbecue was thrown away but the sand remained uh, hot and the patient stood on the sand which burnt the dorsum of her left foot. The foot was immersed immediately in a bucket of ice water and she was brought to the hospital. When she arrived the area was approximately 1.5%, mixed depth that was very painful for her. As she had arrived at a weekend, the burn was managed conservatively with dressings initially. But by Monday it was a lot more painful and uh, thought to be infected and she was commenced on antibiotics. A decision was made to apply Nexabrid and the wound was soaked in a Prontosan solution which is an antiseptic containing pH, MB and betadine and that was done overnight. The Nexabrid was applied the following day with a fentanyl PCA setup. The pain team commented that the patient required boluses totaling 80 micrograms prior to treatment, which reduced the patient's pain perception from a 10 out of 10 score down to a 5 out of 10 score after 5 minutes. The patient was then allowed to self-administer 10 microgram boluses with a 5 minute lockout. The patient needed a further 80 micrograms at the end of the treatment when the product was removed, which again reduced the pain from a 10 out of 10 to a 3 out of 10 after 5 minutes. Here is the foot the day after treatment. You can clearly see the pale dermis that has been retained. The patient was still experiencing a great deal of pain the next day and required oral morphine for breakthrough pain. But over the next few days the pain began to subside uh, and the patient began to mobilize gradually with the help of the physiotherapists uh, slowly weight bearing which resulted uh, in her mood improving too. Uh, four days following treatment, she was on 60 milligrams of dihydrocodone, but no longer needed any extra analgesia. By day five post-treatment, a discussion was had with the patient regarding skin grafting to speed up the healing process, but the patient was quite certain that she didn't want surgery, and we continued with conservative management and dressing of the wound. As she lived a couple of hours away from the hospital, she was kept in for a full week following her debridement, and then discharged to the care of her local nurses. These are the photos she sent us of her foot at various stages of the healing process, with dressings being changed by her practice nurse. Here is her foot uh, now completely healed. It's still a little pink in colour, but she is very happy with the result, and wrote a lovely letter to the Nexabrig company to praise the product and the treatment that she had received. Selective enzymatic debridement preserves dermis, which is considered to be extremely important for tissue regeneration. In this context, enzymatic debridement represents an ideal tool for a regenerative approach in the treatment of burns. Enzymatic debridement has also led to a paradigm shift in the surgical approach whereby wounds are treated in a gentler and more selective manner. In the field of burn medicine, enzymatic debridement has strongly influenced interdisciplinarity and interprofessionality in recent years. The allocation of the different work steps between various specialist disciplines has strongly supported work processes and agreements, and the transfer of responsibilities results in better team cohesion. Yes, the future of enzymatic debridement is very exciting. On the one hand, in burns, we have to wait and see as soon as the product is approved for the treatment of children. Here, I see a very large potential.
but of course also for the chronic wound, a very broad field where enzymatic debridement can be revolutionized.